Hey there, welcome to part two of my video on making a paper bag scrapbook. What we have so far and what we did in the first video is the um, actual pages. So I'll just give you a quick look. Um, we did the cover page and learned how to fold it and how to uh, put all the pages together and um, including the little inserts. So I'm gonna talk about the inserts in a little bit. Um, but first I'm going to talk about a couple different ways that you can bind the book together because obviously you need it to um, have the, right now the, the two different lunch bags are two separate pieces still. So I'm going to show you an easy way to do it and um, a little trickier way to do it. Um, but both ways work fine and um, both ways are great. So first the easy way. Um, this is like an unfinished book so this is just the the bare bones part of it but it'll be work it'll work fine to show you how the binding works um, so really all you do is make sure you have your your crease really well here and um, if you do want to do the binding part first you can um, I usually do the pages first um, just because that way you know a little bit better about where the binding should go but when you're using this format um, it doesn't really matter um, as much so you can do the binding part first so you're gonna take your crocodile and you're going to need to punch holes and you want to use the larger of the two sizes which is three eighths of an inch um, make sure your guide is pushed all the way back because you want to push it in as far as you can and punch a hole so you want to um, like I said push it in as far as you can but punch right on that um, score line and just punch and you're going to turn over and do the same exact thing on the other side And then all you do is just take this is quarter inch grow grain ribbon. And you're going to feed it through the top, feed it through the bottom. And you have your choice. You can tie it on the inside, um, or I like to actually tie mine on the outside. It just gives it a little bit more um, decoration, I guess, for the outside. And by the way, this was about. Um, like 18 or 19 inches of ribbon and as you can see it's a little bit longer than what I need but then that way I can choose to either leave the longer um, strings or I can trim them off and and cut them down a little bit so um, so that's one way and that's the simple way of doing the binding and as you can see it holds the book together perfectly and if you were going to do um, again this is a two page or a two bag book um, if you were doing more pages, you would just have them all together when you uh, did your crocodile punching, and then you would um, thread them all through with the one single uh, piece of ribbon. So that's the that's the easier way of the two. Now next, I'm going to show you um, a different way. So this was the original book that we made, and I've opened it up to the middle. I've already kind of pre-done a couple of steps here. One thing you do want to make sure that you do when you do your binding, if you had put your inserts in, just take them out because you don't want to accidentally bind through your inserts because you want them to be able to, to come out. So what I've done so far, and it might be a little hard to, to see, but um, I've taken a ruler and the actual measurement of the paper bags is about five and a quarter inches. So I need to make nine marks about a half inch apart. So I just kind of split the difference here and started about three eighths or so of an inch in and then made nine measurements with the pencil at half inch apart. So I would start in three eighths of an inch and then just keep going every half inch until you get to nine and then it'll leave a little bit of space on the other side. And then once you have that, you're gonna take your paper piercer and I just kind of folded my book up a little bit because you wanna make sure that the holes go through on the fold on the back side as well as the front. So if you just kind of close it a little bit, use your paper piercer on top of your foam mat and just punch through at all those uh, pencil marks and you're in pretty good shape. Okay, I think I got them all. There should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got them. Okay. So next, I'm going to take our baker's twine, and this is the cherry cobbler color, and I'm going to start at the top on the outside of the book, 
and just basically thread through and leave this is again this is about um, 18 or 19 inches of the Baker's twine and I want to leave about two or three inches on the outside I'm going to tie that together with the end piece later on um, when I get to the end but I want to make sure that this is hanging out of the top hole and then I'm just going to go through and just thread back and forth which of course is easier said than done when you're doing it for the camera So I think you get the idea. I'm just going to keep doing this and then I'll be back in a second when I'm all the way at the end. Okay, so I got to the end here and now I'm on the inside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go back through every single hole and do it's kind of a running stitch. And I'm going to do it on the back side as well. So it'll actually look like a complete line as you go through. Uh, it's a little easier going back because the holes are already there and have gone through them. So a little easier on the way back than it was on the way, on the way down. Okay. So now this is going to finish off that row but I want to make sure that that is also closed up too. So what I'm going to do is just add an extra little um, stitch here. But again, I want the thread to be on the outside. So I'm just going to go back down. So there's actually going to be a double on that first one right there. All right, so then there I'm finished. So now I have a little bit of excess on that side too, which is what I wanted. And all I'm going to do is just take these two and you can tie them in a bow, you can tie them in a knot. I think I have enough to tie a little bow. And then I'll just trim off the excess. Even it up a little bit. And I'll just trim off the excess and then that'll be done. So that's a second way of binding, which is a little bit trickier, a little bit longer, it takes a little bit longer, but I think it looks kind of, it looks kind of nice, a little bit more finished. Um, when I do the classes for the kids, I always do the, the easy binding way. Um, so now the book is just about complete. The only thing I need to still add are the inserts. And I like to kind of dress up the inserts a tiny little bit just to make them easier to pull out. So here's my two pieces of early espresso paper. I'm just going to take two circles of cherry cobbler. And this is the one and a quarter punch. I'm just going to fold them in half. Add a tiny little bit of snail on each half. And I'm going to take one and put it toward the top. And the other one I'm going to take and put it toward the bottom. And then I'm going to take my crocodile again, and I'm going to take the smaller punch this time and just punch a little hole right kind of in the center of where that uh, semicircle is. And do the same on the other one. Okay. 
Then I have some early espresso taffeta. I'm actually going to just trim this a little bit since the hole is small. I'm going to make sure that they go through pretty easily. I'm just going to bring these from the back forward. Loop that through. And these are going to make the little tabs that are going to kind of hang out the side of the book and make it easier to pull out the inserts. So there's one. I'll just clean that up a little bit. And um, by the way, I think this is about um, five inches of ribbon that I started out with. And then you saw I trimmed a little bit. So. Yeah, pretty even, but I'll trim them just a little bit. All right, so now the inserts go in the book into the open-ended pages. And what this creates is another place that you can add more photos or more journaling. And here's your finished pro product, project, anyway. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this project. What I'm going to do, I think I mentioned it in the first video, is go through and put uh, sepia-toned photos of my husband and my kids in here, and we're going to give this to him for Father's Day. And I left the back blank, and what I'm going to do is have them each write a little message to, to them because they're nine and six, so they can both write one, one a little better than the other, but I think the, the younger ones should be really cute, whatever she comes out with. So... Um, so hopefully, Jeff, you're not watching this because now if you are, you know what you're getting for Father's Day. Um, but I seriously doubt you're watching my YouTube channel, so I think I'm pretty safe. And um, I hope you guys enjoy learning how to make a paper bag album. It's a really quick project. It's easy and it's so much fun. And there's so many possibilities that I hope you really enjoy it and make a lot of them and have a great time. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.